What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to another yacht tour on the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The yacht in front of us is a Bavaria Yachts SR41. Now this is the very first SR41 that's made its way into the United States. These yachts are built in Germany, and this one is presented for sale, excuse me, this one is presented by SNJ Yachts. Now this specific one is already sold and spoken for, however they have two more models coming in within the next year. There are a couple different versions. There's a coupe and hardtop version, and I'll point out the differences later on, but this is the coupe version. The length with the swim platform is 43 feet and five inches. The beam is 13 feet and one inch. So let's go ahead and get started with this tour. Really quickly before we made our way inside, I wanted to point out, since we are out of the water, oftentimes when we're up at the helm, I point out the bow and stern thruster controls. And this yacht does have a bow thruster. So let me show you what that looks like on the opposite end of the system. Here is the bow thruster, and these propellers inside can move the boat to port or starboard, and it makes it extremely easy to dock this vessel. Now this boat is in the process of getting commissioned, so we're gonna have to move a couple things around inside, but I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. Another option you'll see on a boat like this is a fixed or hydraulic swim platform. Now this one comes with the fixed swim platform, so you can see what the support arm looks like for that. But if you opted for the hydraulic platform, these arms would be a little bit different. So maybe next time I'll show you what that looks like. And then you can see the propellers for each engine right back here. So let's climb up the ladder and make our way up onto the swim platform. Like I said, the swim platform is fixed, but one really cool feature back here is you have this teak table in the middle. And currently all the cushions are inside because it rained a lot last night and everything's a little bit wet. But you can see the table is on a hydraulic leg, so this can be lowered. And then you can add an extra cushion right here creating a really nice sun pad back here. And you'll also see this backrest cushion is on some hinges. So you can move this cushion forward and that's how you create the sun pad right off the back of the boat. Obviously when it's in this configuration, you have more pads right here. So it's bench seating facing forward or you can have your seating facing aft. You have a hot and cold shower right here. And like I said before, this is the coupe version, which means you have a fully enclosed salon inside. You can see the glass door right here, and this will slide all the way across, and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is what the glass doors look like closed, and I'll open this all the way up in a minute and show you how that works. And then you have engine access down through this hatch right here. On the hardtop version, you don't have the glass doors here, and you have a larger teak table. You can see the table right inside, but you have a foldable table because this entire area is completely open to the helm. So it's up to you whether you prefer the coupe or hardtop version. Now we're going to head inside. So we can slide this first door over. And then if we step inside, we can push this across and push this door open even further. So now you can see how you can really open up this space. And if we step inside, you'll see an L-shaped seating area with this fixed table. Now, like I said, this is the coupe version, so it's just this table, but you can add this option for these built-in bar stools. These will pull out and then you can screw them into place. And on the hardtop version, you have a table option that can fold over because this is completely open with no door in the way. Now on the other side, 
You have the controls for the Fusion stereo system. You have a ceramic cooktop, a sink, and then under here, you have a built-in refrigerator. and some storage underneath. Now overhead, and we already pre-opened it up for you. Well, it's open up halfway, but you can see there's an electric retracting hardtop. And another option, instead of the electric hardtop, you can opt for a soft top, which is just a softer material. And you can choose between either manually opening that or the electric version. But this one comes with the electric hardtop. And over here, you have a great area to lounge out on. Because this roof opens all the way up, you get plenty of sun in here if you want it. And opposite of that, you'll find the helm station. You have a double lift bolster seat. And then here are the controls. You have two Simrad multifunction displays that are built right in. You have your engine monitoring system. Here are the trim tab controls. Here is the bow thruster control. So that's the other end of what I showed you earlier before we saw where the actual bow thruster is. And this is how you control that. You have your throttle control. And this one comes with the optional joystick system. And this will use the propellers and the bow thruster in tandem to navigate the boat in any direction you please. You also have a built-in phone charger. And of course, I have to mention it, you have the compass forward. One thing I noticed is you have this really nice single piece windshield and currently, because it's so wet outside, we have all of the cushions down below. So I'm going to take a moment and bring these back up so I can show you downstairs. But up on the bow, you have some sun pad cushions that aren't there currently. But if you wanted to, you could throw those cushions right out through the open roof up onto the bow. And you can see when this is open. If you're on this lounging area, you can have great access to the top of the boat. So just give me a moment and I'm going to move all of these cushions up. All right, we moved all these cushions up and I would be remiss to point out, you do have sliding glass windows on both sides. So you can open up this space really well, give you a nice cross breeze in here. And here is the controls for the roof. So if we press this, you will see it closing overhead. Now, let's finally make our way down below. You'll see your dining area slash U-shaped seating area right here. It wraps around this little table. And one thing I noticed when I was doing my walkthrough, all of the electrical systems are really easily accessed. On a boat like this, you're gonna be owner operating. It's always great when everything is easy to work on. On the opposite side of the dining area, you have a little galley where you have a ceramic cooktop this was a custom install, but you have a microwave installed underneath. You have a top-loading refrigerator. 
and another sink. So for a boat of this size, pretty well equipped galley and dining area. And I like that you have really great natural light from the windows up above. And one thing I noticed that's really practical is in the floor, you have all of these different inlaid panels and these are all dry storage compartments. So if we take this little suction cup, you can lift this up and you have plenty of storage for provisions or anything else you need to store in here that you need to keep dry. So that's really cool. So now let's check out all of the cabins. When I say all of them, there are two cabins on this one. Forward, you will find the VIP cabin where you have a really good size queen bed in here, full standing headroom. There is a hatch above and there is a built-in shade. That's the screen, excuse me. The shade is on this side. So two different built-ins. And then you have your closet right over here. And then there's no ensuite for this one, but there is the day head right here. And then this is a wet room, so you have your shower wand right here. And you have another skylight above, so you get tons of natural light. And these windows are tinted from the outside. One thing I'm noticing, which I really like, sometimes on boats of this size, everything feels a little bit rickety. But this door feels very secure and sturdy when you close it. I know that's hard to portray on camera, but it's something I've noticed. And here is the full beam master cabin. Now you don't have full standing headroom over the whole thing, but you do for about half of the room. You have a little set to you right here. You have closets on both sides. You can open this up for some ventilation. And if we take a seat, you'll see the queen size bed. This is the info cushion for the table out on the cockpit. Remember I said that lowers down and you can turn that into a sun pad. So that's what this cushion is. And then going on the theme of accessibility, if you move this mattress out of the way, you can see underneath you have these hatches. You can lift these up and you have access to a bunch of battery systems. So like I said, everything is really easily accessible and you have another window on the opposite side. And this master does have its own ensuite. If we step in right here, you have the same style sink and a separate shower. And here is the glass partition that separates that off. So that is all of the interior. You have to let me know what you think about the interior in the comment section down below. But we still have more to see. Because of the size of the boat, I think they make a great use of the space. Because this lounging area is elevated, that's how you have the full standing headroom in half of the master cabin. So that's some pretty smart engineering, in my opinion. And I don't think I pointed it out in the beginning, which I should have because we had the opportunity to see them. But maybe I will at the end of the video. But when I always talk about trim tab controls, if you stick around to the end, I'll quickly film the trim tabs so you know what I'm referring to. So now we're going to head up to the bow. And you do have handrails on both sides. It's a little wet this morning, so I'm being careful, making sure I'm not going to fall off. 
In this instance, it's not really a fall into the water. It's more like a fall to break your neck. But here is that large single piece windshield. And you can see the electric rooftop sits extremely flush with the roof, so you wouldn't even notice it. And then here's where you throw down a couple of sun pads. So you have another great lounging area up here. And that's the hatch into the VIP cabin. And then if we go all the way forward, you'll see the anchor off the front and your anchor chain storage is right in here. Overall, I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing in this Bavaria yacht. Now, I don't think I'm going to go all the way down into the engine room, but you get access right here on this ladder. And this yacht comes with a pair of Volvo Penta D6 380s. These are 380 horsepower each. This is a diesel engine. There are multiple engine options, but in the United States, I believe they mainly offer them in the diesel engine option. Your top speed is right around 33 knots. You can cruise comfortably in the mid-20s, and you'll get around 300 nautical miles depending on the conditions. You'll also have to let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this aft seating area. I think that's a really nice feature. And obviously, whenever you have some versatility where you can move and change the direction, it just increases the functionality of the space. And on a boat of this size, the more functionality, the better, obviously. I also really like these bar stools. Normally, if these were all the way out, I think they would kind of be in the way. But because they pull out, you can see there's this screw right here. You pull these out, screw it into place so they're there when you need it and away when you don't. So I think we've seen all of this boat. Thank you so much for watching the tour. And thank you to SNJ Yachts for letting me do the tour. I'm going to link them down in the description. Like I said, there are two more models coming this year or within the next year. The, these boats have extremely high demand. So you're going to have to act fast if you're interested in one. And like I said, this is the very first model that made its way into the U.S. Now, if you stuck with me this long, you can watch me struggle to get down the ladder with the camera because I quickly want to show you the trim tabs. I think it'll be easiest actually to set this down for a sec. So I pointed out the bow thrusters, but this is what the trim tabs look like. So whenever I'm pointing out trim tab controls, this is what I'm referring to. There's a few different styles, but this is the more classic style where when you adjust it, this will get pushed down or up and it will affect how the boat sits in the water. Let's get one more profile shot. It's really hard to put into words just the scale of these boats. This is on the smaller range of what I tore. I tore anything from 30 feet all the way up to 200 foot super yachts, but even a 40 to 43 foot boat, it just looks massive when it's out of the water. Thank you so much again for watching and we will catch you next time.